Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have the monthly subscription from Sephora. It is $10 a month and I'll leave the link and the information all down below. Um, most of you already know what the box is and how it comes, um, but I'll just I'll show it really quickly. It comes with a pamphlet with your little um, 50 extra beauty insider points, which I really wish you could redeem these online. You could only redeem them in store. You can put it on your phone to redeem in store if you forget your card, but I hardly ever go into the store. Um, so I really wish you could redeem it online, but it's whatever. Um, and this month the bag looks like this. I don't really like this bag. I like the linen type ones better, but it is, um, it says sweat is just another way to glow, so it's like a gym essentials bag, I'm guessing. It has like the mesh, and it feels it's really loud, and it feels kind of cheap, um, but it's whatever. Um, let's open up our pamphlet. The first thing I grab is their scent of the month, which this month is Wild Child. It's from Pin Rose, and it has gardenia, jasmine, and frangipani, frangipan, I don't know how to say that. Um, it's not in a little mister like normal, so it looks like it's only a one use, which I don't really like that. They do some, I know that Penrose, um, typically puts theirs on the little towelette kind of things, because I have other samples from them. Um, so I'm not going to open it right now. I might give it to one of my friends or my family to see if they would like to use it. The next thing I see is actually something that I actually wanted to try, which is the Tarte Friction Stick kind of too shiny and it comes and it has a little ceiling on the top and it's just like this so let's see what it says it says exfoliating gel cleanser in a unique twist up stick format transforms from a solid gel into a cleansing lather it basically just says the sweep and circular motions all along your face until it's um, good and lathered and then you can rinse it off or you it even says that you can leave it on for like 10 minutes as a mask So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm um, I'll probably give this a try tonight to wash off my makeup Um, the next thing I see is Quay or Way. Is it Way or Quay? Way Hair care. It's the treatment mask half an ounce. So that's always nice. All right, so it's like slightly pink in color so it's just a, you know, another hair mask that you leave in for 10 to 15 minutes before you wash your hair um, or before you rinse your hair. The next thing in the box is from Caudalie and Caudalie is one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, I've actually tried a ton of their other things. I love their grape water. I love their Reverse Atroll um, Eye Lift Balm, but this one is... A moisturizer so it has an SPF of 20 it says ways to use think more than a moisturizer this formula plays multiple roles to keep your skin looking its best um, it could be a sunscreen to apply all over the face and neck to prevent to protect against sun damage is an anti-aging cream um, it says you can tap around the eye area to visibly lift and firm and I I always like firming things um, I will be hitting 30 soon at some point so um, I do notice certain wrinkles certain defined wrinkles especially across the forehead and everything so anything that says firming and lifting I'm all about it um, primer oh you can use it as a primer so you can also apply prior to makeup for a smooth even surface so I'm kind of curious about this I have not tried this product from them yet and it comes in a little squeezy tube and you do get half an ounce in this as well. And let's see what it looks like. So I might try this out tomorrow as a primer. Um, I do want to look to see what kind of, whether it's a chemical or a physical SPF though. Huh. It does need, leave like a nice, I don't know if you guys can see, but it leaves a nice little sheen to the skin. And it makes your skin soft once it sets, because it, it was tacky at first, but now it's set just in a couple seconds. And it's quite smooth feeling. The next thing is from Clinique. Um, I actually don't, 
ever buy anything from Clinique. It's just not a brand that I gravitate towards when I'm in Ulta or Sephora or at a counter somewhere. It's it's typically just not a brand that it appeals to me. I have tried sample things from them and I've never disliked them, but I've never been blown away enough to be like, I want to try more from the brand. But I don't mind getting stuff like this in a subscription box um, because it does give me more of a chance to try a brand that I normally would just pass by. Um, and this is the Almost Lipstick, Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. So it's a really pretty berry shade. And they do give you a decent amount of product and that's all the way up. It says dab on bare lips or to extend the staying power lay over your favorite lip liner or lipstick. So it's made to be either worn alone like a lip balm or you know layered. But let's do a swatch. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see it there but it is quite sheer. Ooh, mine just broke. So let's uh Put it down a little bit. Still usable though. It's a lip balm basically. That's the texture that it has. It's a very thin lip balm. And if you blend it out, I can't imagine this is going to add too much color to your lips. Um, but I'll give it a shot. It's something that I'm interested in and I'd be willing to try. Um, and the last thing in the box this month is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I have tried the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder before. Um, it is not my favorite, so I will probably just keep this closed for now and give it away to somebody who might get better use out of it. Um, it is mainly talc based, and talc just does not set well on my dry skin. Um, anything where talc is typically the first ingredient, I usually just skip by it because it usually looks too cakey. Um, especially for the purposes that I use it for, which is to set my under eyes and anywhere that I put concealer. So I will probably just give this to a friend or family once again. Um, I usually prefer silica or mica um, products. I typically go for mica or complete silica based setting powders. Um, silica is very light. It does leave flashback, so it's not good for photography or anywhere where there's going to be flash. Um, I use it for my everyday makeup. Um, talc typically makes me very cakey and dry looking, so I will probably give this away to a friend or a family member who might have oilier skin than I do. Um, and I also like mica too. Mica is a natural mineral and typically mica has a light sheen to it which helps give the skin like a luminosity and get, puts life back into it which when you have dry skin that's what you need. Um, so those are the two ingredients I usually look for in my setting powders. So yeah. Um, that was everything that was in my Sephora Play this month. Overall it was an okay box. I probably have two or three things. Um, I'm definitely excited about the Cota Lee item. Um, like I said, I love this brand. Um, I have quite a bit of their skincare already, so I'm pretty excited to try something new from them that I haven't tried before. And I'm also actually pretty excited about this. Um, I will give this a shot. And also, if you guys have any ideas for videos that you would like to see or subscription boxes that you would like to see done that aren't commonly done, um, let me know down in the comments and I will try to check them out for you. Or if you have any products that you're interested in getting reviewed, um, just let me know down below. Um, again, thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week and bye!